I have two daughters, 13 is Tessa, she has cystic fibrosis, and Emma Lee is 10. We didn't find out until Tessa was nine months old, and she was what they call failure to thrive. They went through some diagnostics, and finally they suggested something called a sweat test. And uh, we took her in for that test, and unfortunately it came back as positive. Around two, they suggested she get something called a therapy vest. And this vest, it inflates like a um, blood pressure cuff. And then it shakes her. She could watch TV. She could, um, she often watched videos. So we asked the insurance company to approve it, and they said, well, it's a new item, and we have no um, history of it being efficacious for this disease. So we can't approve it. Eventually they did, enough people got enough experience with it that it became approved, and we got one for her, um, a nice small one. I think any parent can, can imagine what it's like to have a child suffering and to think that there's something that should be done or could be done, and you can't provide it. It's heartbreaking. My husband works as an engineer, and he has a wonderful insurance coverage there that he's had. He's been working there for 35 years. Michael was offered a job at the university, and I was very excited about that because it was closer to home, and it was a great opportunity for him. Also, um, there's tuition reimbursement for our kids when they get to college age. And when we looked over his package, we discovered that our prescriptions are $80,000 just for the two maintenance meds that she takes. And the copay for those prescriptions made it impossible for him to move. So it would be ideal if we could have a better choice when we move from job to job and give the best care at the best cost. That's, that's really what I'm hopeful for. And I, I, you know, I would be willing to write to anybody that um, would listen to let them know really how important this is to me and to my family, to Tessa and to lots of children just like her.